The earth is made up of three layers. The crust, where we live on, going down 22 miles inside the earth. The mantle, starting at 22 miles inside the earth, but going down another astonishing 1,770 miles deeper. And finally, the inner and the outer core, that make up the sphere-shaped core of the earth. The radius of the core measures 2,164 miles, but the very inside of the core is amazingly 3,954 miles deep. The Earth's crust and the uppermost part of the mantle, otherwise known as the lithiosphere, is broken up into 15 major plates. The process that causes the plates to move is a cycle called convection. How convection works is heat and hot lava rise from the Earth's core to the lithiosphere, where they cool down and become more dense. Then the pull of gravity proceeds to carry these materials back to the core, where they will be heated once more. There are three different ways plates can interact with each other. The first is where plates converge, when one plate moves under another. This takes place over thousands of years. Another is where plates collide, and here the land is thrust up to create mountains. Lastly, there is where plates diverge. Divergent plate boundaries are often found underwater, where magma emerges from the mantle and creates new crust. But other plates move slowly alongside each other. These are called faults, where at the edges of two plates, the crust is moving in different directions. Occasionally, the plates become locked together, sometimes due to a rock breaking against the fault. Then energy builds up between the plates. When the plates give up from being locked, the energy is released, causing an earthquake. The hypocenter of an earthquake marks the spot where the energy was first released. The earthquakes give way their power in three different waves. Primary waves, which cause a sudden jolt. Secondary waves, which come a few seconds after, and surfaced waves. Surface waves come directly from the epicenter of the earthquake, which is the exact point of origin of the quake, and is located just above the hypocenter. To get specific, there are two different types of surface waves. There are Rayleigh waves, which come in a rolling motion, and there are love waves, which come in a side-to-side -side motion, doing most of the damage to buildings. There are three main types of faults. Since a fault is usually slanted, although not always, the side slanting inwards is called the hanging wall, and the side sloping outwards is called the foot wall. A normal fault is where the hanging wall slips downward below the foot wall, due to the crust being pulled apart by plates. A thrust fault is the reverse of a normal fault, where the foot wall moves downward in relation to the hanging wall due to the crust being pushed inwards by plates. A strike slip fault usually occurs on a vertical fault, therefore having no hanging wall or foot wall. These are faults where the crust breaks side to side, due to the plates pulling them in that same motion. Scientists have devices called seismographs that detect vibrations in the earth from earthquakes. Seismographs record movement in the earth by making marks on a graph based on how big the seismic waves are that they are picking up.